Joining me now is Dr David Lees, who's a lecturer in French studies at the University of Warwick in the UK. Thanks for being with us. With us. Um, critics will say, of course, that Amon is just too far on the left, and this choice by the socialists rules them out, really, of any chance of winning this uh, presidential election. Well, some people certainly would say that. I think um, it seems to be um, a very clear choice from the, the socialists' uh, voters. Uh, they've chosen as someone who is, as you say, far, far further to the left than Manuel Valls, for example. Uh, I think it's, it's a risky strategy. It's one which may well, may well pay off if, uh, for example, François Fillon and Marine Le Pen are pushing France further to the right, uh, then Hamon has a chance to, to push further to the left. But I think his, his sort of brand of politics is somewhat outdated, really, compared with, with say, someone like Manuel Valls. So it will be very, very interesting to see how, how Hamon can, can hold off the likes of Jean-Luc Jean Mélenchon, for example, uh, further to the left. Very, very interesting times for the socialists. Um, they, they, in many ways, have responded to the fact that uh, François Fillon and Marine Le Pen are both uh, standing on a further right platform. So it will be fascinating to see really how Hamon is, is taken up by the wider public. I mean, it does mean, doesn't it, that you've got two candidates uh, quite a long way on the left, two candidates quite a long way on the right, meaning that the man who could come up through the middle, of course, is now Emmanuel Macron, that uh, more centrist candidate. Absolutely. Macron, uh, having, having sort of left the, can the, uh, the government at the same time as Hamon, has now forged his own path, really, as this kind of centrist candidate. And in many ways, I think, I think Macron appeals to a lot of people. He appeals to people uh, across France, in particular in uh, post-industrial areas, where one might expect either the far, far right or far left to do quite well. Uh, and so he, he's appealing to a, a broad tranche of the population, and he could well sort of forge this, this path between the two sides of far right and far left to, to really um, come through as a candidate into the second round of the elections. But what I think this shows, Hamon's uh, candidacy like that of uh, François Fillon, shows really that the French voters are rejecting people who have been sort of perceived to have been associated with political uh, sides one way or another, and, and in the government. So in many ways, Macron has, has, is, is partly tainted by his association with François Hollande. So I would expect him perhaps not to do quite as well as we might expect at this stage. But if anything, this election just goes on proving we can't really predict anything in politics at the moment. And it's unpredictable on the right as well, isn't it, after the events of last week? The Conservative candidate, François Fillon, stumbling, if you like, over these allegations that he paid thousands of euros of public money um, to his wife. I mean, that presumably is set to, and, and seems to be in the polls so far anyway, uh, benefit Marine Le Pen. Absolutely. It, it can, only, can only really benefit other people. Um, François Fillon is, is somewhat... Um, in, 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 a, in a difficult situation, really, he's, uh, he's, he's, as you say, facing these allegations, which seem to be in some, seem to have some proof to them. But of course, at the moment, they are only allegations, uh, and so therefore, he is he's tainted not only with his his association with Nicolas Sarkozy uh, as prime minister, former prime minister Sarkozy, but now also with these with these somewhat uh, daunting allegations. He faces, in many ways, an uphill struggle to convince voters that he is more credible than Marine Le Pen. But let's not forget, Le Pen has never held any kind of political office, and her party is still somewhat sketchy in terms of track record, both economically and politically. So really, the right is wide open, the left is wide open. And here we have Macron equally, who could be somebody who forges this fair way, but equally uh, not really any, any sort of strong political track record himself. So lots to look forward to as we, as we approach the elections uh, in April and May. Dr David Lees, I'm sure we'll speak to you uh, many times before then as well. Dr David Lees, uh, lecturer in French studies at the University of Warwick in the UK. Thanks for joining us on the programme.